Hello uh, and welcome to this video about Oxygen Not Included. Um, I recently got back to the game after not playing it for quite a long time and there's a lot of new stuff uh, that you can toy around with. So I'm gonna show um, a few different solutions, I hope hopefully in a series of videos. Uh, what I noticed is that a lot of YouTubers make really complicated, like overly complicated uh, solutions to, to the problems and I think it's because a lot of them use debug mode, right? I never really cared to install that, so I just play the game as it is and then you kind of have to keep it simple or, or it's just take, it's not really efficient to make it, right? Uh, so what I want to talk about is how I keep the base cool and at the same time get rid of um, some of my wastewater, right? So since I'm using a lot of energy to get away heat, I also kind of want to use that heat for something, right? So I can get a dual solution, right? Uh, because I was running a bit of excess um, excess uh, polluted water despite having this setup, right? I'm not going to talk about this setup in this video. I'm sure you've seen it in different um, in different videos. Uh, well, it's pretty much my power plant, right? So, uh, what it is is an oil cooling system. So I have like a rad like radiators here. Uh, well, inverse radiators because they're, they're not heating, they're cooling. But anyway, so oil is pumping in a huge loop all around the base and they're all cooled down over here with these aqua tuners. And the reason I want to have a closed loop is to be able to modify the system, right? So uh, what will happen is if I disable this building, let's see if we can get the dupe there uh, fast enough. Uh, come on up. Yeah, there we go. All right. So if I disable this building, what will happen is I will slowly empty out all the pipes. So once I've done that, I can easily modify the loop. Uh, I can add stuff to it. Uh, let's enable this one again. Um, I can add stuff to the loop, etc. once it's empty without having a lot of oil spill out all over the base. So anyway, so the oil is all pump pumping through uh, over here where it's cooled down. So you see it goes in at 14C and out at minus 11C. So this is what's cooling all the base, right? Well, what's also happening is these are generating heat. So I'm actually pumping down uh, polluted water over them that will boil. And uh, let's get rid of about close to 600 grams per second. I can probably pressure this one up, but I'd rather have it run very, very stable than, than trying to maximize it. So all that happens here is uh, it gets pushed through these airflow tiles, uh, the steam, and it's cooled down here uh, just a little, but by the same all that these ones are actually uh, cooling right so you have the the oil running through here and here's at minus eight right and it still comes out with a minus six degrees which is enough to cool the rest of the base um, so this is really nice setup because you kind of do two things right you cool the base and you get rid of some excess polluted water so this one actually is really easy to set up you can ignore all these this is another solution for get rid of excess water so I'm not going to talk about this one in this video uh, so you have a few things here, right? You have um, a hydro sensor. So pretty much what this one will do is stop these ones if it runs dry. Because as, as long as there's water here, these ones won't overheat. But if they run dry, they run the risk of overheating, right? So this one is connected to an OR gate. No, an AND gate actually, but that's it could just as well be an OR gate, right? Uh, I'm gonna talk about the reason for an AND gate, but uh, pretty much you can connect this one to an OR gate, shut off the power grid because the power looks like this, right? So it goes through the power shutoff. Uh, and let's get back to the automation. All right, aut automation, not automation, automation page, right? So it shuts off power whenever it runs dry. It will keep flowing a bit of liquid until um, it's not dry anymore. This one is set to a minimum of one kilo, right? So as long as there's water, this, this will run, right? The reason for the rest of this is pretty much, I actually had the base running a bit too cool. So I have a thermal sensor here. So we'll actually shut the whole thing off if it goes below 14 degrees. Um, and if that happens, it will keep running for a little while. That's why I have, these are buffer gates, right? And, and then shut off, right? Until 
the temperature is high enough. So actually that kind of happened right now, I think. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so if the reason for this being an AND gate is that it will actually also shut off if, um, if temperature gets too low, right? So what happens also is this one is connected to the power, but this one is also connected to the water inflow. So in case it gets too cold here, uh, it will also shut off the water. Otherwise this one would fill up, right? If it's off an extended period of time, these ones are not running and the water is still running, you will just get an excess of, of, of dirty water here or polluted water. So you want both to shut off. But the easy solution for this is pretty much just a hydro sensor. The rest is just a way to shut the whole thing off in case it gets too cold in the base. So I think that's about it, right? You do two things at once, really neat and nice. An easy way here to actually shut the whole thing down by turning off the pump. Um, of course, if you turn off the pump, you also want to turn off the the liquid or the, the polluted water. I haven't done an automated um, uh, an automated solution for when I'm turning off the liquid pumping through. So you just have to actually shut shut the well well here manually if I want to empty out the pipes to do any alternations of the loop. And I think that's be all for the first video. If I wasn't clear enough on anything here, uh, just just ask me in, in in comments, and I'll try to explain further. It's gonna show all the grids real fast as well. Like here's the power grid with the shut off here. Uh, you have the water grid here, and you have the optimization grid here, right? With these are just buffer gates. Uh, here you have another buffer gate and that's this buffer gate is pretty much just to, to keep the power of these running a bit longer than the water to kind of dry it out when you shut it off right um, and that's it thanks for watching and I'll post another video on, on, on this thing later uh, this one is a bit more complicated all right thanks for watching